Hey, you. Want to make a bit of gold? Stranger, a word. You look like the courageous type. I have an opportunity. You're sober, aren't you? Good. Are you interested in taking on a contract? Nothing too dangerous. My father, Lord Dial, hired a group called the Daggers to investigate the Harpy threat. But they've been gone too long, and I'm beginning to worry. We don't want any blood on our hands when this is all over. Well, I need you to go and find them. You can take the one dagger who managed to find his way back to camp with you. He can fill you in on the details. I'd send my guards, but then they wouldn't be protecting me. I'm sure you understand. You're going to help me find the rest of the daggers? Hmm. I'm not sure you're dagger material. Your hands look kind of soft and delicate. Like you've never beaten anything into submission with your own two fists before. The daggers were hired to help Lord Deal gather research about the harpies. We get him what he needs and we get paid. Simple as pie. But now the rest of the daggers are missing. We need to find them and make sure our first mission is a success. Everyone has to start someplace. Even the Fighters Guild had a first mission, didn't they? Who are you to judge? Now let's get out there and do what we're getting paid for. Let's find the daggers and bring back their research. Harpies, eggs, whatever we can bring back so Lord Deal can figure out why these birds have become so violent lately. We have to find the missing daggers. Gelvin, our leader, and the Remley brothers. We find them and help them finish their jobs. And while we're at it, we look for the Queen Birdie, Fowling. She's a vicious killer, and she needs to be dealt with. We shouldn't dawdle, so make it quick. We're an odd bunch, that's for sure. Gelvin found each of us either drinking away our troubles or begging for gold on the streets of Daggerfall. We were good for nothing and all but forgotten. Gelvin wanted to change that. A few of us tried to join the City Guard or hook up with the Fighters Guild. Truth be told, they wouldn't have us. We weren't good enough for them, so we formed the Daggers to show them that they're wrong. Lord Deal's guards were in the city, looking to hire some muscle. They found us in the Rosy Lion, celebrating our newly formed partnership. We needed a job, Lord Deal needed some help, and here we are. Well, not really. We were talking about how we needed to find a job, and suddenly Lord Deal's men were making us an offer. We took it as a sign that we were doing the right thing. The daggers were going places. I vowed that I would always face my opponents as an equal. If an enemy came at me with a sword, I would meet his blade with one of my own. The harpies fight with claws. How could I go up against them with anything more than the fists nature gave me? Sharp and natural. They don't wield weapons, so neither will I. I will fight them head on. Fists against claws, and I will do so with honor. This is a fresh kill. Be alert. Whatever did this could be watching us. How in the eight do you expect to trap a flying harpy with a trap set on the ground? You're an idiot. You know that, You know right? I hate it when you yell at me, brother. Now calm down and help me figure out how to get a harpy to trip a wire on the ground. Huh. I see the problem now. Looks like we found the Remley brothers. Did Lord Deal send you? Well, there's nothing new to report except that my brother is an idiot. Armo placed dozens of traps, and he just realized something. Harpies don't walk. Now we're trying to figure out how to salvage the situation. We're trying to capture a few of these creatures. Lord Deal wants to observe the Harpies and see if they demonstrate any odd behavior that might explain the recent acts of aggression. But we're still working on our traps, as you can see. We've got some throwing snares. 
The only problem is the damn harpies are too strong. They need to be weakened before you hit them with the throwing snares. I may have a sword, but I'm not a fighter. That's too dangerous an approach for me. Lord Deal said a few. So, four, I'd say. Yes, four harpies should do. If this works, please tell his lordship that we gave you the traps, all right? You're going to help us, eh? I could have figured this out, you know. If I could find a way to weigh the harpy down so it'd trigger the trap. You know what? It's probably better that you take care of this. that Gelvin up there? What in Malakoth's name is he tangled up in? Thank you, old friend. Thought I was going to become bird food before you got here. Um, hello. <laughs> that was a bit of a predicament. The Remley brothers do set a good trap, I must say. That one trussed me up tight. But now that you're here... Wait a moment. Who are you? Help. The daggers don't need any... Oh, who am I kidding? I'm the leader of the Daggers, and we don't have a clue as to what we're doing out here. If you're willing, we'd appreciate any help you care to provide. I was collecting unhatched harpy eggs to bring back to camp. One of the things Lord Deal needs to complete his research. I got one egg, but we need to collect a few more. In the nests above, be gentle with them. I don't want the hatchlings to come to any harm. I'm going to rest a moment and then head back to camp. With the gold his lordship pays us, the daggers can really make a go of this mercenary thing. That's all that Lord Deal asked us to do. Let's head back, but I want to have a chat before we enter the camp. Listen. You've helped the Daggers, a lot, and we appreciate it. But before we go back to camp, I need to make sure you understand something. Gelvin has a good head and a good heart, always puts the Daggers first and keeps us on the right side of the law. Of course, that's part of the reason we're still struggling. Sometimes mercenaries can't be too choosy about the jobs they take. This Lord Deal, something's not right with him. Why does a noble care about harpies? But whatever, it doesn't matter. The daggers need to get paid. If not, our mercenary group collapses, and we're all back to the streets. Again. You're not listening. I'm saying that it doesn't matter. He could be a saint or Molog Ball himself. What matters is that we get paid so the daggers can stay together. Got that? Now let's get back to camp. You, you can't the keep them like this, Lord Deal. And survive? They're in pain. I don't believe it. I can it. do what I like with them. After all, I'm the one investigating why these birdies have become so very, very angry. Ugh. When Gelvin gets back, he won't stand for this. Now, oh, you're back. Much more reliable than those damn daggers. I don't see their leader, Gelvin. He didn't come back with you? More gold for the rest of you, I suppose. Now hand over the eggs, please. I believe we already covered that. Now let me have a look at these beauties. Oh, so round and smooth. Well over. I'll begin studying these eggs right away. Wait a moment. Where's the other egg? I was promised five harpy eggs, not four. Didn't they teach you to count? There will be no deal without five eggs. Five! No more, no less! Imbeciles! Then I suggest you find that bootless lout and get it back. There will be consequences. These are my eggs. Let his sister know that if Gelvin doesn't return, I will have his right hand cut off for stealing from a noble. Dealing with fools and idealists makes me thirsty. I need a drink. Greedy, ignorant, ugly son of a mammoth's ass. 
That deal can go leap in the river. I wish I knew. The rest of the daggers made it back, but there's been no sign of my brother. I had my doubts about getting involved with Lord Deal. I just wish I'd told Gelvin about them. But who are you anyway? Why do you care about any of this? Well, you helped my brother and his daggers so far. I only hope we can continue to count on your support. So, listen. I heard Deal's threats. His claim is ridiculous, but he has gold. Paying guards to support a false accusation is easy enough. I think I know where you can find my brother. Whether you agree with Gelvin, me, or the bastard Deal over there, we need to find Gelvin and that egg. I don't want to see my brother get hurt. There's a house on an island directly west of this camp. That's where we first met with Lord Deal. I could see that Gelvin was very interested in the place. I'll give you a head start before I tell Deal about it. Now go. Find my brother. Something's not right. Gelvin hasn't returned yet, and Lord Deal's getting more and more impatient. By Azura, he doesn't look like he intends to do much research either. I think he likes to watch those creatures suffer. I didn't realize the Harpies would be in so much agony. They hate being trapped like that. I'm starting to get a bad feeling about all this. Oh, his lordship has a plan, but that's nothing new. He has plans coming out his ears. But this one might actually work out this time. Oh, you know, a plan. To, uh, save Daggerfall from the Harpies. Yeah, that's it. You know what? You ask too many questions. Talk to his lordship if you want to get involved. I'm still waiting. You go and talk to him. I'll wait out here. Remember what I said. Daggers first, ideals second. Something fishy's going on here. I think Lord Deal hasn't been entirely truthful with us. But how did you find me? Grinette sent you, didn't she? I know, I know. I was on my way back when I decided to investigate this place. When we first arrived, Deal and his sons came out of this building to greet us. I figured if there was any place to get any answers, it was right here. Nothing yet, but this whole situation feels... off. I'm sure that his lordship hasn't told us the whole truth about the harpy frenzy. Anyway, I'm not leaving this house until I find something that sheds light on what Deal is up to. found something, didn't you? What is it? Tell me what you found. Let me see that. What in the name of... Lord Deal's been poisoning the Harpies the entire time. He orchestrated their frenzy. And he claimed he's been trying to help. He's been using us. It's tainted gold. The daggers don't operate that way. We're not common thieves that break the law just to fill our own pockets. This is a dangerous edge to walk, and it cuts both ways. I didn't want the daggers to start out like this. Well, we'd have to disband. We'd go our separate ways and hope we can find a way to feed our families. Damn it. This isn't an easy choice. I just can't accept that we'd get our start helping a noble do the wrong thing. Of course, you're right. Deal has to be stopped. I think I know what to do. And if all else fails, I've always been good at improvisation. You've done enough. 
Just keep Lord Deal busy. It's not up to you to finish this. That's work for the Daggers. Even if it turns out to be our last job, we're going to do it right. Gilvan's sister gave up his location so easily. Now where is that damn thief? And where in the eight is my damn egg? What did you say? How dare you? That's my property. You expect to get away with this? I knew I shouldn't have put my trust in a bunch of low-life scum. You'll be in the hands of the Daggerfall Guard by the end of day. You think the Guard would believe you? Some street rats who lay a claim against a well-respected noble? You're dumber than you look. The guard will chuckle as they lead you to the dungeons. Or maybe we'll just end this right now. You? Friends with the king? Oh, that's brilliant. Really, it is. You must uh, dine with his family on a regular basis? <laughs> Perhaps vacation together in the countryside? I'll give him your regards. It's a shame about your tragic accident and all. Guards! Guards! What in the Divine's name are you- <laughs> So Gelvin killed the bastard? I didn't think he had it in him. It still doesn't change the fact that he botched our entire deal. I told you to talk him out of it. Yeah, I figured that out. His lordship was also behind the whole Harpy Menace thing too, wasn't he? Well, it's a good thing I decided not to count on Gelvin to turn a profit. I snatched this from the camp when no one was looking. It's not much, but a few gems are better than no gems at all. Why don't you tell Gelvin that you found it on his lordship's body? We don't want him to think I stole it or anything. Well, I trust you. Besides, I need to set these birdies free, and they're not going to be very happy when I do. You've dealt with enough dagger business for one day. Leave this to me. Go on, go on. I'll catch up later. I'm sorry I failed you. I know you were all counting on me. Deal's gone, but I don't feel any better. These people depended on me, and I failed them. I can't even do one job correctly. What do you mean? A pompous ass carried these around with him? <laughs> that figures. Technically, we did complete the job. Wait, what am I saying? This isn't right. These gems don't belong to us. I thought the daggers were finished, but, well... Looks like we have a future after all. Here, take this. For helping us finish the job. Consider it a small token of our appreciation. And you'll always have a place with the daggers if you want it. By the eight, we've done it. The daggers will live on. Thank you, friend. Thank you for helping my brother. I was worried there for a bit, but it looks like everything worked out in the end. I knew Gelvin would come through. We chose a good leader for the daggers. Wait, does this mean I get to build more traps and gadgets now? This is most excellent news. <laughs>